Sergei Milasovic Eisenstein, October. Ten days which shocked the world. Eisenstein is very well known to be the father of editing in the seven half cinema. Something which is less well known is his interest in Japanese kabuki and no theater and haiku. The editing in October, for example, was strongly influenced by haiku, Japanese poetry. The way to mix together what which apparently is not something we may think visually put together makes a lot of sense. Like a haiku in a few images, Eisenstein try to give to the viewer a maximum of ideas. The interest of um, haiku poetry and um, Chinese ideogram was certainly given by the interest of Eisenstein as a Renaissance man in uh, foreign literature. Reader of James Joyce, Ulysses, certainly he was aware of Ezra Pound's interest in Chinese poetry. A very famous essay published by Ezra Pound, written by the American Ernest Fenelosa, took the interest of the young Russian genius director. The interest of uh, haiku poetry is going to be pushed to the boundaries in October, up to the point that the film was misunderstood and still, after almost one century, is a film much younger than the current contemporary cinema production. The most famous scene of October is probably in the name of the country and God. In a few shots, which seems doesn't make any sense, Eisenstein proved that men have invented the gods. The opposite still is to prove. Mockery of the official code from Orthodox churches or Catholic churches is putting together different, mysterious, sometimes frightening and very funny gods from foreign culture. We got a parallelism with Islam, Asian cultures, African cultures, in one line, religion is the opium of the people. Mockery of religion, certainly mockery of military nationalist institution. In less than two minutes, we have here a striking independent view of what control people. The editing is remarkable, fast, efficient, and in a certain way, still, after almost one century, still contemporary and forehead from the most boring academic film production. The last film of Eisenstein, Ivan Grozny, Ivan the Terrible, the second part, see in colors a strong references to the Japanese traditional theater, the No Theater. The dance of the leader of the Aparachnik is here transcendenting all the different sources Eisenstein had accumulated during more than 25 years. The sequence is in many ways remarkable, although we should not forget that behind the haiku poetry for editing, the Japanese traditional no and kabuki theater we see here, we have a strong references to his great master, Walt Disney. Without a joke, Walt Disney is here with El Greco, the great Greek painter, and the caricatures from the French artist Daumier. Ivan Grozny represents the testament of probably the greatest filmmaker of 20th century. Eisenstein was a man of many talents, a Renaissance man who knew so many things that he could 
transcendent many different expressions in the concept of the Gesamtkunstwerk. Eisenstein gave us a new way to express through image a language which is still in many ways, as Peter Greenaway says, in infancy. Russian cinema second genius will be, of course, Andrei Tarkovsky, who is going to go in a total different direction. человек епископа Пимена. Его Пимен Владимир Андреевичу отписал. 